Good morning, everybody. Thank God for you. It's a beautiful morning out here. It's just before 6 a.m. Just getting ready to pull out the bike and head off to work. We gotta be in Arburg for nine. So leaving here at six, get to work around 6.30. I'll have half an hour to get the truck warmed up, get hooked up and go. So I can't really waste too much time. I wanted to get going a little earlier than this, but breakfast took a little longer than expected. The egos were really good. Well, it's off to work I go. Gotta put you guys here in my bag so that I don't lose you. Go do some trekking. I'll see you there. It was a very good ride in, thanks for asking perfect weather and if the weather's perfect at six in the morning whoo, we're in for a hot day maybe if we're lucky that wind will keep up and we can have a nice breeze all day I'll try to keep you out of it for now we got another step deck behind us today I'll give you one guess where we're going working back here did you guess Arburg oh you smart people you're smart how did you guess that how do you know I just want to make sure that they're all inflated this is the trailer that had the air leak I crawled underneath here before just to make sure that it was fixed you can see right there new airlines that's what had worn through that's all good to go trailer's good to go Let's head up there. A little bit now. I know, I know what you're thinking. Yesterday's bugs are still on the windshield. What's going on, Trooper Jazz? I know, I know. I didn't have as much time today. I have to get going. I can clean them off when I get there. Pretty sure we're loading somewhat of the exact same freight today as we loaded yesterday which means it's going to take a little while another reason i don't want to take any longer to get there the longer i take to get there the longer i gotta sit there and the longer they gotta sit there and the longer everybody's day is no geese again a bunch of ducks in the geese pond. The ducks took over the pond. Oh no, there must have been a war. The ducks won. That's surprising. Those Canada geese are pretty vicious. Surprisingly, they would seed that territory. I guess that's life, you know. You can only have it if you can hold on to it. There goes another one. There's another bunch behind me. Uh, for those of you familiar familiar with this area, this is the highway up to Harbor, this is Highway 7. And in Stony Mountain, which is just up the road here, at the end of the four-lane highway, there's this gravel pits and stuff, and constant traffic of uh, you know gravel trucks and stuff. And another one. So my question is, do these gravel trucks not have to stop at that scale that we just passed? Because yesterday I came up here and the scale was open, lights were flashing. I pulled into the scale, so did like every other driver that wasn't the gravel truck. But I saw every single one of these gravel trucks blow right past the scale. While I was there, so there's another one coming up behind me, so there's constant traffic, right? So there was at least like 20, I'd say, 15 to 20 blew past the scale while it was open. Do these gravel trucks not have to stop for the scale? Are they exempt in some way? And why? And nobody was chasing after them. Is it sort of like, hey, if we all blow by the scale, he can't catch all of us? Is that sort of the attitude? Like, aren't they? They're supposed to go in there, right? I don't know. Let me know. This is where the A-Team van was last time. Now they got a different vehicle here. Is this 
truck from the A-Team also. It's nice. Maybe not. I wonder if it's the same owner. I wonder where the A-Team van went. And what's the A-Team? Everybody in my comment section was saying, that's the A-Team van! I don't even know what that is. Or maybe I do and I just can't think of it right now. So we're in Toulon. I got a trailer full of goods. Going to Drummondville, Quebec. Or Drummondville, Quebec. I think that's how they would say it. I don't know. Let's just Drummondville, Quebec. Same place as the other trailer's going to that we loaded yesterday. And there's one more trailer coming after me yet. He was uh, getting loaded as soon as I left. It's going there as well. A lot of stuff going out there. Takes a lot of energy out of you working in this heat though. 40 degrees, that's about 100 Fahrenheit outside. Pretty humid, so it's not a dry heat. And a lot of traffic, what's with all this traffic? Too long, there's like 10 people that live here and they're all on the road. It's gotta be the Truman Show. You guys ever wonder that? You guys ever think that maybe you're living on the Truman Show? You guys ever seen that movie? Okay, I'm going for it after this. I was here before that SUV, right? Oh, now I gotta wait for this guy. Man, that guy. Okay, we're going for it. We're going for it. Wonderful. I'll take the heat over the cold, though, any day. Any. Though, the good thing about when you work in the cold is you can put more layers on when you work in the heat. You know this joke, right? There's only so many layers they'll let you take off. Not much filming today, but it was the same thing we did yesterday. So I don't like to repeat myself too much. So we'll find something to share with you this evening. Uh, it's Friday, so there's that. That's exciting. I'm headed into Winnipeg on my bike right away. I gotta go meet someone. 
and then uh, head home after that. Britt's working till about nine o'clock tonight, and she said she's bringing home Wendy's. Which is Friday, so it's like cheat day or something. Not that I'm on a diet. People always say, what about your diet, Trucker Josh? Uh, what diet? I'm not on a diet. I'm just trying to watch what I eat, but every now and then, I mean, Wendy's. All right, Wendy's. It's one of my favorite fast food restaurants. I don't know, I, I just like their burgers the best. Burger King is awesome too. We don't have a Burger King in Steinbeck though, but we just got a Wendy's. Maybe that's why I'm excited about it because it's something new in town, right? Wendy's. But first, we got to get ourselves over to my bike. I park it across the yard on the concrete or on the asphalt because I don't want to park it on the gravel here. I don't trust it. And it's all the way in the back here. I'd like it to be more around where people can watch it all day. <laughs> Not that I don't care about my pickup, but uh, I don't know. Motorcycle's a little different. And I, I'm a, a little nervous about leaving it outside in this heat. So I hope she's okay over there. Anyways, I will talk to you in a little bit. We'll hang out this evening. Check this out. I am a super smart guy because I bought smart water today. It makes you smart. Science. I have some exciting news. I was waiting to share it, but I can't help myself. I sold my motorcycle. She's gone. It went fast too. I only had it listed for what? Well, it listed for two weeks, and uh, sold her. And I bought a 2005 Yamaha V Star 650. So it's not the big V Star. It's the 650. It's big enough for me. I don't carry passengers with me. It's, it's got custom exhaust on it, so it sounds real nice. It's loud, but it's not obnoxiously loud. I pick it up next week, so I'm excited to show you guys that I can finally move over onto a cruiser bike and feel more comfortable riding. The sport bike's just not really my style anymore and I do a lot of highway riding now too because I live a ways away from work and I commute into work and we're moving out to the country and a sport bike isn't really ideal for riding down the highway all the time. So we got a cruiser. I'm looking forward to showing it to you when I get it. So that'll be next week sometime. It's going in to get safety done Monday and uh, whenever they're done with it, we can go uh, sign all the papers and finish that all up and I can take possession. So I'm doing a lot of riding this summer. Right now I'm trying to go get a new helmet. I'm gonna get a skull bucket helmet to go with the cruiser style. Obviously I'm not gonna be wearing my off-road helmet. That's why I said I was waiting to get a new helmet. Remember I said I'm waiting for a few things to fall into place. I wanted to get a, a new helmet that would match my new bike, but I wanted to make sure first which new bike I was going to be riding so that I could get one to match that. All right, I didn't want to get a helmet. I guess I could have just gotten the helmet and then gotten a bike to match the helmet, but <laughs> either way, I'm going out to get a skull bucket today. Uh, Honda in town here, I went to go check, to see if they were open, it's like a, a motorsports shop. They're closed apparently today, on Saturday. Apparently they don't want to make money because they close early during the week and when everybody is like off work and wants to go out and spend their money, they close. I don't know, I showed up there. It says Saturday's closed, only open Monday to Friday. What kind of business is it? You're a motorsports store. The weekend is when everybody wants to come out and spend money on recreational stuff, you know? Why are you closed on the weekend? So I want a Canadian tire, but I think there's, I can see from here already, there's a long lineup. I don't know if they, Increased restrictions again or something. I don't know, but there's a long line up to get into Canadian Tire. I don't want to wait in line. SAR is in town though. Maybe I should go check them out. They'll probably be open. You know, I'm gonna go check them out first. Well, then again, I need to get into Canadian Tire anyways because I need to get a few things. I need to get more like that line for my weed whacker. Now right, we'll go check out. We'll see how long the line is now. This is the old Safeway building off to our left. It's abandoned right now. I don't know why it's still standing here and why no one's buying it. I've heard rumors that they're asking for too much money. I don't know, that's our abandoned building here in town. Uh, and there's the Timmy's, of course. Of course. And just behind that there, that's uh, where all the trees are there. That's Tim Hortons. I mean, pardon me, that's Canadian Tire, past Tim Hortons. I don't even think. Oh, and the lineup doesn't look as long as it did before. Oh, it's still out here a little bit though. Look at all these people waiting out here. I don't have a stop sign, buddy. I know, it doesn't make sense. Oh, 
man, look at this. Ridiculous restrictions. Ridiculous. But they can only allow a certain amount of people in the store at once, so that's what uh, all this is about. Oh, we'll find a parking spot and drag ourselves over to the line. It shouldn't take too long, I guess. Gotta get a few things. I'm so sick of all this already. Just so sick of it. Just ridiculous. Are you gonna take up both spots, man? Why are you parking in the middle of that whole thing? You got lots of room on the other side there. Well, I had to stand outside for a little while, but uh, we made it back to the truck. Got all of our, whoa, got all of our stuff. I settled on a, a helmet here. I had two choices. It was either a plain black cruiser helmet or one with flames. And I would have gone with the, the regular black helmet uh, just because that fits any bike but mine has uh, flames on it. You'll see it when I pick it up. And I think that'll match. And it's something different. It's not just a plain black one, right? It's still black. It's just a little bit more unique. It's funny, it was like, uh, it was 10 bucks more just for that, just because it had a fancy flame job. It's a flaming helmet. <laughs> I'm funny. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. Head back home. I can't wait to pick up the bike. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be a good day. The lineup here actually moved a lot faster than I thought it would. I thought I'd be out there for a half hour. Uh, maybe like five minutes. Wasn't bad at all. There's a lot of people here. And inside was just packed too, so. Oh, well, there's government regulations, one person per household only. Oh, yeah. What's this guy? This guy's turning. These guys are walking. I am turning. Why are you just sitting there, man? You're making me nervous. There's lots of room for you to make your turn. Okay. Slowly make my way through here. I don't want to hit anybody. What was that all about? <laughs> the cart person scare you? <laughs> okay. Life is good. Life is good. It's a beautiful hot day. I'm going to go home and enjoy some beautiful air conditioning. Though I'll probably be outside for most of the day. Take her easy over the speed bumps with that high value cargo, buddy. Surprised he doesn't have a police escort with that. There's not that lumber just sitting out there, just under two straps, man. That's gonna disappear if you don't keep watching it. That's expensive right there. Must be nice to be rich. Why are the flags at half staff again today? The flag over there at Superstore is at like quarter mask. They're super sad about something. What's going on? Maybe they're super sad about all these crazy restrictions. I'd put my flag at half staff for that, or half mask. But the world is crazy, isn't it? The world is crazy. Doesn't matter what side of uh, the issue the issues going on around, doesn't matter what side of it you're on. It's all around sad state of affairs. But hey, here's to a better future. Let's go home and grab a nice cold beverage and cheers to a, a brighter, happier future with a cruiser motorcycle. Ha! Huh? See? It's gonna be a good day. Getting a new motorcycle. Well, it's not new, it's a 2005. But uh, it's been very well taken care of. Very well maintained. It's like brand new. It's got, uh, I think it's got 8,500 miles on it. Which is probably, well, it's pretty close to 10,000 kilometers, which isn't bad because my bike had close to 8,000. So it's only a couple of thousand more kilometers. So I would have had about 6,000 miles on my bike. So 
and mine was a 2013. This is a 2005. It's pretty low mileage for that year. It's got the V-twin. I told you right, it has some custom exhaust on it. So uh, the stock V-stars aren't very loud, but this one, this one has a nice throaty rumble to it. It's it's going to be very satisfying starting it up in the mornings. I already told my neighbor about it. I know my neighbor. I'm going to have to keep it down. He didn't ask me to. I, I told him. Uh, I told him I sold my bike, and then I got a cruiser. And it's going to be a little bit more of a rumble in the mornings when I get going, but I'll, I'll try to keep the noise down as much as I can. You know, I'll roll it out to the street, and I'll start it there, and I'll just putt out of the neighborhood. You know, I won't be one of those neighbors that you know, starts it up first thing in the morning and rah, 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 revs it up, waking up the whole neighborhood, and then act all surprised when the neighbors complain about the noise. Have you guys seen those... Uh, I'm sort of addicted to TikTok, I'll admit it. I watch a lot of TikTok. These guys who are like all surprised, like, oh, my neighbors called the cops on me. I don't know why. And then they start up their, their vehicles, like straight piped, like Mustang GT500. And it, it's straight piped. And they're like, I don't know why they keep calling the cops on me. Started up at 6 a.m. every morning. Like, dude, that's very unneighborly. Not very neighborly. All right, you gotta be friends with your neighbors. You gotta live together in close proximity. You gotta get along, even if you disagree on some things. We're very lucky to have very good neighbors on both sides of us. I uh, I really like our neighbors. We really lucked out. We got a good spot, you know? If we don't end up building for 10 years, I'm totally fine being where we are. Unless if they sell. If I see a for sale sign going up in their yard, I'm taking it down. I don't want new neighbors. <laughs> Unless if... Unless maybe, oh, maybe they'll sell it to some nice people too. We had really good neighbors at our old house too. We only had one neighbor right beside us and uh, they were really good too. So I've never had to experience life with nasty neighbors. You hear stories about it all the time. Oh, what a miserable life that would be. Because that's where you live. That's where you spend all your time relaxing with your family. And if you just don't get along with your neighbors or if they're like just jerks to you, it would make life very miserable. But... Thank God we don't got to worry about that. Thanks for watching. Jiggy, hey guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. It's great to have you a part of our life. I'm Chevy. Um, if you don't care, that's okay. But I care. I like you. I hope you like me. I don't really care. I just want to sleep. Uh... Y'all can do what you want. Uh, just don't bother me. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, is this camera if I was putting my face against my bill? Uh, hit the like button. Are people doing things that are not good? Yes. That's... Is that good? Is that good? Very good, Weeder. Good job. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a good weekend.